What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to build a double tap to like UI with Swift UI. So here is what we're going to put together. We've got this really nice image, clearly not stolen from Google Images, but we're going to go ahead and double tap it and boom, we've got our heart fades in, fades out. We're going to use tap gestures to achieve this, some Z stacks, some images, some modifiers, a whole nine yards. So if that sounds good, make sure you start by destroying that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Them. It really helps a lot. Hit subscribe if you're into iOS and haven't done so already. That all said, let's get into the video. All right, we're going to begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're going to stick with the app template under iOS. Let's go ahead and give this project a name of double tap like Swift UI. Make sure your project language is set to Swift and both your lifecycle and interface are Swift UI. Go ahead and continue and save the project wherever you'd like. And as soon as Xcode decides to stop being slow, first things first, we're going to close this right panel over here. And I'm also going to jump into my XE assets and we're going to drag in this image that I've got. You can use any image. I'm just going to use this one that I grabbed from Google Images. Kind of irrelevant what you use. But let's go back into our contents view. We're going to change our preview device to something a little more interesting like a 12 Pro Max. And we can go ahead and hit resume right over here to load up our preview device. So let's go ahead and get into our code. So the premise of double tapping to like is really uh, using a tap gesture to show and then hide uh, a particular view, a heart in this case, which will sit on top of the image. So before we add in the animation, let's go ahead and build out our UI. So I'm going to add a uh, navigation view with a Z stack inside of it. The first thing we're going to want to bring in is our image, which I believe I called image. Let's uh, hit resume in our preview here to make sure that guy shows up since it's still showing our hello world text. And the idea is we're putting it in a Z stack because we want it to, uh, we want the heart to be on top of it. So we're going to make it resizable. We're going to also set the aspect ratio to fit. I'm also going to give it a fixed width and height. So we can say width is maybe 200. You can also say like height is 200. And we'll see we've got this nice square picture in the middle here. Maybe we can even bump these up to like 400. The size is a little subjective. But now that we've got this showing up, we want a heart on top of it. And the way we're going to add it is really simple. We're just going to use a system icon, which is a SF symbols. And I want to see if I can remember what the icon is called. I think it's called heart.fill, and there, in fact, it is. So it definitely is that. But we want it to, first of all, be resizable so it can be a larger size. And we also want the color of it to be white so it kind of looks like the Instagram heart. It's also, uh, you know, not proportional anymore. So we're going to say the aspect ratio of this guy is also to fit. And let's once again make sure the frame of this is, you know, a sufficient size where it's not too big and it's not too small. So I'll try a hundred here and we can, uh, we can make that smaller as needed. So we've got our heart, we've got our image. Let's work on the double tap. How on earth does that work? So it's pretty simple. We're going to add a opacity modifier to this image view, and it's going to be something that we hold in uh, a state property. So up here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we are going to say we have a state var show like, which will be false by default. And down here, I'm going to go ahead and say if it's show like, we're going to say opacity is going to be one. Otherwise, it's going to be zero. So by default, it is uh, false. If we hit resume, we should see the heart go away because, you know, we're not showing it at the moment. And this is the thing we're going to be animating once we double tap. Now, how do we actually bring in the double tap? We're going to use a tap gesture. Let me just close that right panel to get a little bit of room. And we want the tap gesture to be on just this image. So we can say uh, on tap gesture. And we don't want just this one, we want the one that takes in a count because we want double tap to like. And then it actually takes in a closure in terms of what we want to do. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say with animation, we're going to go ahead and say try to toggle the uh, show likes. So we're going to say show like dot toggle. So once we change that value, it is going to go ahead and uh, 
animate this uh, opacity here. Now you can also change the uh, you know duration here by saying that the animation here will be animation dot linear. And uh, there's actually a linear with a duration, so you can maybe make it like one second. You can play with the numbers as much as you want, so I'm not going to bore you all with it. But let's go ahead and actually uh, give this a try here in our preview if uh, I can get this to work. So let's go ahead and uh, hit this live preview button. And I'm going to double tap on this. And there is our like that shows up. Now it's a little small, or rather a little slow. And we also want it to go away. So what do we, how do we actually achieve that? So I'm going to say make this 0 0.5. And right now we have a with animation. Go ahead and do this. We basically want to do the same thing again. But we want to do that uh, after a delay using a dispatch queue. We're going to say main queue. We're going to say async after now plus one second. Go ahead and do this whole thing again. And toggle is just going to inverse that Boolean. And we're not going to run it because we've got a preview here. So let's just go ahead and hit resume. We're going to stop the live preview. And I'm going to start it again. And now when I double tap, it looks like it appears and then it goes away. Now it's still a little slow. So you could make it, I don't know, maybe it'd be like 0 0.3. And we can also bump up the you know the delay here maybe one is uh, going to be sufficient you really got to play with the numbers to get what you want i honestly can't even uh, uh remember what instagram uses but this looks to be about correct i want to say theirs is a little faster but uh you guys get the point so the idea here is you have the heart sitting on top of the image here and when you double tap on that image we change the opacity of the uh, heart icon on top of it so that's how you achieve this double tap to like effect in a nutshell if you guys enjoyed the video and haven't done so already don't forget to drop a like down below it helps out quite a bit comment if you have any video suggestions feedback if you just want to say hi i love hearing from you guys and absolutely destroy that subscribe button as well if you're into ios and want to stick around that all said, I'll see you guys in the next one.